Then we proceed to position our vibrating pad using a bit of scotch tape. Tape at the point deemed most suitable. We ask the patient to do the task and, as soon as the patient exceeds the range set beforehand, this vibration is activated, warning the patient to maintain a correct position. This is therefore a signal that, unlike the visual and audio types, is important, has an added value because it takes the form of a profound palesthesic information. It acts on the information and is in some way more direct, more immediately perceived by the patient and the patient picks up the signal or feedback at the point in which the control is to be exercised.